Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to design blog page with Elementor. Once on your WordPress admin dashboard, I want you to go over to the left-hand menu option. From here, you're going to hover over plugins, as you'll need to install two plugins to design a WordPress blog page using Elementor. So you're going to tap on Add New Plugin. After you have tapped on Add New Plugin, I want you to tap on the search bar. And from here, you're going to type in Elementor. After typing in Elementor, the first plugin that I want you to install is the Elementor Website Builder. So you're going to install and activate this app. Then after adding that plugin, you're going to simply go back and you're going to search for Elementor QI. After doing that, I want you to also activate this app, which is the QI add-ons for Elementor. Once you have added and installed both plugins, you're going to go over to the left-hand menu option and you're going to hover over pages and you're going to tap on add new page. After tapping on add new page, from here I want you to simply type in, you can type in blog or you could type in the post name. So for example, I'm just going to type in blog. After you have done that, you're going to tap on edit with Elementor from the top navigation bar. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to the Elementor dashboard. From here, you're going to tap on the plus, then you're going to tap on Flexbox, and you have a few different grid options that you can choose from. So if you would like to create a split grid, you can do that, or you can simply tap on this option right here. After you have done that, you're going to tap on the nine dots in the top left-hand corner. Then you're going to scroll down, and first we're going to be adding our heading. So you're going to drag and drop your heading right there. Then you can go over to the left-hand menu option where you see title and you could type in your title right there. After typing in your title, you can select whether it is an H2 or H1. So for example, we'll be selecting H1. After doing that, we like to add some text below it or if you'd like to add an image right below this, you can do that. To do that, all you'll need to do is simply tap on the nine dots once more. Then for example, if you would like to add an image right below this, you'll simply drag and place the image. So you'll drag and place the image right there. After doing that, you can choose the image that you would like to use. So you'll tap on choose image from the left hand menu option. Then from here, you could tap on upload files, then tap on select files and you could upload an image. Let's say, for example, the image I would like to use is this one. I could tap on the image. After doing that, what I would recommend you do right where you see Alt Text from the right hand menu option, you're going to simply type in what's in the image. So for example, I'll type in projector right here, and this will help with SEO. And then you can also scroll down and you could fill in the title right there if you want then you're going to tap on select. After you have added the image, you can change the image resolution by going over to the left hand menu option, right where you see large. So for example, if you would like to change it to medium, you could do that. Or if you would like to change it to thumbnail size, you could do that. So I'm just going to be leaving it at medium. After doing that, all we need to do now, we are going to tap on the plus once more, and we're going to tap on flex box. And then from here, let's say, for example, we would like to add a text and we'd like to also add a picture to the side. So we are going to be using the split grid option. So after doing that, you're going to go up to the top left hand corner, tap on the nine dots. Then for example sake, we're going to be adding another heading. So we can drag and place the heading right there. Then after placing the heading, again, you can select whether it is H1 and or H2. We're going to be leaving it at H2 this time. Then after doing that, you will tap on the nine dots. Then from here, we can place either an image or a video, or you could place a text box, for example, six. So I'm going to be placing text right below it. Then you could put in your article right here. After doing that, we're going to be adding a video to this side. So we can simply go over to the left hand menu option and you could place a video. 
after doing that you could select what you would like so for example you could tap on the link and you could paste in the video link let's say it is not a youtube video you could tap on vimeo and you could place a vimeo video or if it is self-host you could select self-host right there and you can add in the video that you would like to use after adding in the video let's say below that we would like to add an image carousel or so on you will simply tap on the plus once more then tap on flexbox then we are going to tap on the single box option then tap on the nine dots from the top left hand corner then from here you can scroll down after scrolling down you can see some paid option but let's say we would like to add a gallery right here or if it is a case that you would like to add the image carousel you could simply drag and place it then from there you could go over to the left hand menu option and you could select the images that you would like to use so you can select the images right there then you could tap on create new gallery and you could tap on insert and you can see that the images have been added and by the way if you would like to make it clickable you can do that by going over to the left hand menu option you could tap on link and from here you could either paste in a custom link so you could paste in the link that you would like persons to be redirected to once they click on it after placing the images if it is a case that you would like to add a button all you'll need to do is tap on the nine dots once more then you'll scroll down and from here you can see button so we could drag and place the button right there after adding the button let me do that real quick so i can drag and place the button right here then from here you could change the positioning of the button so for example if instead of the button being aligned to the left you would like it to be aligned to the center you can do that by tapping on style from the top left hand corner then you could select positioning and from here you can place it in the center or to the right if you want you can also change the color of the button by tapping on color and by the way if you would like to change the button text you will tap on content in the top left hand corner then right where you see text you could change it from click here you could also paste in the link that you would like to redirect persons to once you are finished making all the changes to your blog post and it is to your liking you are going to tap on publish in the bottom left hand corner so let's tap on publish real quick once you have done that you can tap on have a look and from here you can see our blog post and keep in mind that this is just a rough example when you are creating your blog post i would recommend that you add in more content as this will be able to assist you with ranking and with seo but this was just a rough quick example if you found this tutorial helpful and informative be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching